Okay, yeah. Thank you for kind introduction. Uh, okay. It's my honor to be here uh, to present our recent finding on the development uh, like a mediated drug delivery system for cancer targeted imaging and the therapy. So as we know, uh, in the late 1980s, the molecular uh, and the genetic approach uh, to understand the cellular signaling network, uh, such as proliferation and the survival, beginning the era of target therapy. However, transition from the target drug to a uh, subtoxic drug to target therapy is uh, represent an important advance in cancer therapy. However, the drug resistance remains the same. Target therapy has been shown to prolong progression-free survival. However, it has only small effect on overall survival in cancer patients. Why, can, why is cancer so difficult for treatment? Because there are several uh, obstacles need to overcome, including heterogeneous cancer cell and the drug resistance, tumor high interstitial free pressure, uh, and the immunosuppressive tumor microenvironment. A cancer stem cell is a subpopulation of drug resistant cell. The, as we know, uh, the small molecule drug, anti cancer drug, has drug toxicity and the side effect. Okay, in this slide, uh, we can see the next hour of filtration pressure is positive 1, 2, uh, 3 mmHg when, uh, and uh, in the tumor tissue, the network hour pressure uh, is average minus 18 mmHg. So the anti-cancer drug is very easy trans capillary transfer from the uh, normal blood vessel into the normal tissue. However, the uh, anti-cancer drug is very difficult trans capillary transfer from the tumor blood vessel to the uh, tumor tissue. So under transiting, uh, uh, transitional therapy, the amount of drug accumulated in the normal organ is 10 to 20 fold higher in the uh, tumor site as the same weight of tumor tissue. This result is uh, demonstrated in our, uh, our, re in our uh, research paper and also previous uh, published paper. Yeah, in this study, you can see the tumor bearing mice when IV inject the doxorubicin. After, uh, uh, say, from the 10 to uh, 12 hours, so you can see the drug accumulated in the tumor site is very, very uh, low amount of anti-cancer drug compared with the uh, normal uh, control organ, like the heart, uh, lung, liver, and the kidney. You can see the only very small of anti-cancer drug delivered into the tumor site compared with uh, this uh, normal organ. So uh, this uh, will increase the drug toxicity and uh, decrease the therapeutic efficacy. Uh, to overcome this problem, we have uh, developed the phage display uh, technology platform in my lab. Fetch, uh, can display the peptide library or antibody library. So we can use the fetch display antibody or peptide library to select specific peptide or antibody bind to the cancer cell but did not react with the normal cell. So when we identify such kind of targeting peptide, we can conjugate with the anti-cancer drug like the uh, liposome and the development target therapy. Okay, uh, if I, we identify the number of peptide or antibody fragment, we will uh, conjugate with the PEG, DSP, and uh, such peculated peptide will integrate the liposome, uh, lipid bilayer at the transition temperature. Okay, we also prepare the liposome uh, and capture different anti-cancer drugs like the dosorbicin, minorelbin, urinotecan, tesla, and so on. Yeah, here just example, uh, when we have identified the liver cancer specific peptide, we call uh, SP94. SP94 is very specific bind to the cancer cell, but did not react with the normal hepatocyte. As you can see here, the uh, SP94 uh, bind to the liver cancer cell, and the that did not uh, bind to the normal hepatocyte. Okay, and about 61% uh, of the uh, liver cancer patient can be detected uh, by uh, this targeting peptide. SP94 also shows to have uh, enhanced the about a 10,000 uh, greater affinity for HCC than hepatocyte, endocell cell, and immune cell. Okay, S uh, SP94 targeting liposome also show uh, uh, about 1 million uh, improvement uh, compared with the liposome. Uh, without such peptide. So it can kill the 
uh, uh, can kill the uh, liver cancer cell, also drug resistant cell, but spare the normal hepatocyte. So uh, such kind of peptide is very specific bind to the uh, liver cancer cell. The other example is uh, lung cancer targeting peptide. As you can see, uh, we also identify the uh, lung cancer targeting peptide can specifically bind to the uh, surgical specimen from the lung cancer patient. However, uh, the peptide did not bind to the normal alveoli or normal lung tissue. Uh, when lung cancer targeting peptide conjugate with liposomal venerobin, you can see the targeting liposome has significant increased the therapeutic efficacy compared with the non-targeting liposome. Also uh, increased the uh, overall survival rate uh, compared with the non-targeting or control uh, group. Uh, we also identify the uh, targeting peptide could specific bind to the tumor blood vessel but did not react with the normal uh, blood vessel. Such kind of uh, tumor blood vessel specific peptide conjugate with the liposomal drug. As you can see, the targeting liposome increase the therapeutic efficacy compared with non-targeting liposome or control group. Uh, the targeting liposome also increased the uh, survival rate compared with the non-targeting liposome and the control group. Uh, recently, we also, I also identified two uh, novel peptides uh, specific bind to the uh, tumor blood vessel, the surgical specimen from a uh, breast cancer patient. Right now, uh, most of the solid tumor can be detected by uh, these uh, two novel peptides. But this uh, peptide did not react with the normal blood vessel. Okay, and when uh, we IV inject tumor berry mice, we found the peptide will target to the tumor site, but did not react with the uh, normal tissue. Okay. Very specific target to the uh, tumor tissue. So the peptide uh, conjugate with the uh, liposome, and we perform six different types of solid tumor like the uh, lung cancer, as you can see here, is increased the therapeutic efficacy, as well as the breast cancer, liver cancer, pancreatic cancer, colon cancer, and the oral cancer. has also a very uh, a significant to inhib inhibit the tumor growth. Recently, we also developed the sonostic uh, liposomal drug. We uh, encapsulated uh, the anti-cancer drug in the liposome and uh, the also uh, conjugate the uh, PEG, DSP, or SRB, DSP can uh, detect the uh, cancer. Uh, we, then we conjugate the peptide SP90. SP90 is a breast cancer specific peptide. So in the uh, transmission electron microscope study, uh, it's used the SP90 uh, conjugate li liposome or control peptide conjugate liposome. You can see here the targeting liposome will end, end, uh, receive the media endocytosis into the uh, lysosome or into the endosome. As you can see here, uh, the drug, a high amount of drug will deliver into the tumor site, com, uh, into the tumor cell compared with non-targeting uh, liposome here. And also uh, increase the uh, cancer killing activity by decrease the IC50 of anti-cancer drug. So in this slide, you can see the non-formulated free drug cannot uh, uh, deliver into the tumor tissue, but, uh, even from uh, one hour to 12 hour. You can see here, only very little amount of drug in the tumor site. Liposomal dosorubicin will enhance the drug delivery in the uh, tumor site, as we know by EPI effect. And the target liposome has uh, decreased a lot of amount of uh, anti-cancer drug into the tumor site. As we, we in our study, only one hour can de uh, in delivery a lot of amount of anti cancer drug into the tumor site. So uh, about 12 thirds of uh, anti cancer drug will delivery into the tumor site compared with the uh, non formulated free drug. So it's all overcome the high interstitial free pressure. Uh, uh, the free drug is uh, very difficult to uh, deliver into the high pressure tumor site. So we also use the uh, luminescence uh, imaging uh, by, by, uh, uh, to use the uh, real-time uh, detect the 
anti-cancer activity by this targeting boson. As you can see here, the free drug uh, treat grew, the tumor will grow again, and the, the disease will progression. Liposomal dosorubicin is a stable disease after 10 days treatment. However, the targeting is a uh, significant decrease the, uh, the tumor size and the shrink the tumor, uh, tumor size. You can see here, uh, this is another animal model, previous by xenogoid model. This is by also topic model. We have get the same results. Free drug treatment group, liposomal dosorubicin, and the targeting was on here. In my lab, also generate uh, a fetch display human body library. So we can from the uh, uh, we can generate library from the B cell and uh, construct the uh, heavy chain variable region library and the light chain variable region library. Then use the single chain uh, variable region and uh, create fetch display a human antibody library. Okay, so uh, right now we have generated uh, more than six times 10 to the power of 10. It's a very uh, high quality fetch display human antibody library. Then we can use the fetch display biopending and select the best antibody and perform the CDR maturation uh, to create the uh, whole IgG with a very high affinity. Uh, there are many uh, antibody has uh, targeted it against different target has been uh, developed in my lab. So I just use an uh, NTC made antibody uh, use, uh, uh, for can lung cancer targeting, for example. Uh, when we uh, use the phase display antibody library, we select a, a very specific peptide antibody target to the CMAT and uh, conjugate uh, with the liposomal dosorubicin for the uh, anti cancer treatment. And also use the SCV anti. SCV and CMAT conjugate with the quantum dot for molecular image. Here you can see the uh, anybody conjugate quantum dot can deliver uh, to the to target to the tumor tissue, but uh, non targeting quantum dot did not. Also, the targeting drug delivery system, we also call immunoposome, has increased the therapeutic efficacy compared with non targeting or control group. Recently, we also uh, used the uh, liposomal uh, uh, drug for combination therapy. We hope we can cure the cancer, and the result is uh, quite promising. You can see here the non-targeting liposomal drug uh, to liposomal drug has significantly decreased the tumor growth. But when we use the combination to our uh, targeting drug liposome, uh, the uh, therapeutic efficacy has uh, more increased. And no, uh, so, uh, no uh, cytotoxic effect, body weight is not changed. So in this study, we can find the uh, tumor bearing mice uh, is uh, treated with the target hiniposome. As you can see here, it's very small tumor size. And the three of six mice was eradicated. So the cancer has been cured in these the three mice, compared with the non target hiniposome or compared with the PBS. So you can see here. And more than 200 days, we did not see the recurrence of the tumor bearing mice. Uh, we also performed a more uh, large uh, tumor size. It's a more than uh, 800 millimeter cubic. As you can see here, the treat with the combination targeting boson, as you can see here. Also, two of six mice has, was re uh, eradicated. Two of mice has recurred by this targeting formulation, and uh, no side effect here. Uh, so this is the final slide. Uh, in my uh, study, I have made conclusion. As we know, the uh, free drug, uh, non-formulated free drug is very difficult to deliver it to the tumor site because high in interstitial free pressure. The pressure is very high in the tumor site. So only uh, less than 5% of anti cancer drug can deliver it to the uh, tumor tissue. So when we uh, use the liposome and capture anti cancer drug, the uh, nano size particle about 100 nanometer, such kind of target, target liposome cannot pass the normal blood vessel because of no liquid. However, the target liposome uh, can uh, deliver to the, uh, the drug to the tumor tissue by EPI effect or by active targeting. So 
uh, the peptide or antibody uh, fragment has another uh, ability. It can trigger the receptor media endocytosis. So it can deliver the anti cancer drug to the endosome. So the endosome or lysosome, the drug will, uh, uh, the liposome will broken and the drug will release. So uh, that's the reason why uh, in this uh, strategy can deliver a lot amount of anti cancer drug to the tumor tissue and also increase the, uh, the therapeutic index and the much prolonged uh, lifespan of tumor bearing mice. Uh, this work was uh, performed by uh, this foreign student. Okay, so I will stop here and uh, uh, thank, you, thank you very much for your attention. Okay. Any question? No. I okay. Oh, sure. yes. um, have you never seen the fluorescence of doxorubicin in the nu nu nuclei? You say there is a escaping from the endosome, and then the, the action of the doxorubicin is in the nuclei. Maybe you have you never seen the localization by fluorescence detection of the doxorubicin? Yeah, yeah, very nice question. Yeah, we we have uh, used the two strategy to uh, prove the the doxorubicin is accumulated in the uh, tumor site. Uh, one is use the confocal microscope. We can find the uh, doxorubicin was localized in the tumor site. The second method, we uh, isolate the nuclear and uh, uh, detect the doxorubicin in the nuclear by HPOC. Yeah, okay. thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, the next one. Khaled Mohamed Ozni. Thank you. From King Abdulaziz University of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Okay.